My name is Christopher Day. I'm a Professor of Education at the School of Education, University of Nottingham, UK. And I'm also the founder and uh, current coordinator of the International Successful School Principals Project Network. Um, it, it first started uh, with a conversation in, in England between myself and the president, then president of the National Association of Head Teachers, Principals. Out of that conversation arose a project, uh, a small project funded by the National Association of Head Teachers, which was uh, looking at uh, successful school principals uh, across the country. It was a small project. Um, but we, we managed 10 schools, and the design was multi-perspective case study. Uh, so we defined success as success by reputation, success by student um, progress and achievement results. Uh, um, these were the two, two main um, elements of success. So it was never effective schools as per results only. It was always about the broader success that a school principal may ex uh, influence and may exercise upon the school. Um, out of that project came uh, a book and some papers, and um, I did this in a collaborative way with colleagues. And out of that came the notion that we might uh, roll the project out or a similar project uh, internationally because it seemed that nobody else was looking at, at that time, successful school leaders uh, in a multi-perspective uh, way uh, that we were. Um, uh, and it proved to be an idea which was attractive to other people in other countries. Um, I invited, I think it was four uh, other countries over to Nottingham, um, got some seed corn funding from my own university to do that, and out of that initial meeting uh, was born the International Successful School Principles uh, Project, uh, and that was in 2001. So now, 13, nearly 14 years later, this network, which originally I had thought might be five or six countries and might be for two or three or four years at the most, is now nearly 14 years. Uh, and it's grown from that number of countries, without marketing, without advertising in any way, to um, 20 countries. It's grown organically and it's, in a sense, managed organically. There's a lot of trust. There's a lot of mutual respect. There's a lot of uh, uh, hard work that goes in. We've collectively agreed protocols, interview protocols, analysis protocols, reporting protocols. And to be a member of the network, well, there are two categories of membership, neither of which cost any money. <laughs> one, one is an associate member, and that just simply means that you've shown an interest and you want to be in touch and you intend to carry out one or more case studies. Uh, after two years, if you have not done any case studies, you cease to become an associate member. If you've done one, uh, with our protocols, you become a member. Well, that original group has now did, then moved on to looking at how successful principals sustain their success. And now it's about to launch uh, with um, agreed protocols again. We've been redesigning for the last year and a half, um, actually. Uh, into looking at underperforming schools, both visible and invisible, we call underperforming schools. Whereas other members who've come on board more recently uh, are still looking at successful uh, school principalship, um, and some are now looking at sustaining successful school principalship. And so we accommodate the different paces, if you like. Um, but in doing so, we're able to, we've been able, and we'll continue to be able somehow to um, collect together what's probably the biggest um, bank of case studies, multi-perspective case studies, that exists on successful school principalship. These are the strands. We still have successful school principalship. We still have sustaining success. We now have um, underperforming schools. So, uh, And then we have high-need principals in schools which serve high-need communities. And now we have uh, principal identity. So you can see how it's kind of grown. Um, and you can't grow and sustain, I believe, a, a network of that kind unless you're following the interests and the passions of the people who, who are in that network. Um, and that's, if I had any role at all, other than simply a coordinating role, uh, I would like to think that that's how I was contributing to the continuation uh, 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 and the, uh, of uh, and continuing growth as well of the network itself.